most people would think about equities, fixed deposits, mutual funds, real estate or gold when thinking or when considering options to invest. Rarely does anyone consider investing in government bonds. However, investing in government bonds can be an effective way of diversifying your investments and reducing risk. Recently, the Reserve Bank of India or RBI has allowed retail investors just like you and me to directly invest in government securities through an online portal which is called RBI Retail Direct. The government security market or GSEC market was more suitable for institutional investors like mutual funds, bonds, insurance companies, pension funds and primary dealers. Now, due to the sheer size of lot traded, it was not quite possible for retail investors to directly trade in these securities. Retail investors used to take the exposure to government securities indirectly through these institutional routes. But now investors can also buy and sell government bonds directly with the RBI in both primary as well as secondary markets. Sovereign gold bonds can also be purchased through this platform. So what exactly is government securities? Well, government securities are financial instruments through which the government borrows money to support its financial requirements. So when you invest in these securities, you're basically lending to the government and you're earning interest in return. So who actually can invest in government securities then? Well, under the RBI Retail Direct Scheme, all the retail investors, all the individuals can open a Retail Direct Guilt account with the RBI and invest in government securities. Now remember that only when the investors open this Guilt account will he be then able to buy government securities and bid in auctions. Now note that the investors must have a permanent account number which is PAN which is issued by the Income Tax Department Another is Rupee Savings Bank account, which is maintained in India. The next is documents for KYC and registered email and mobile number. So these are the essential things that will make you eligible to invest in government securities. And lastly, remember that all the non-resident Indians, which is NRIs, the retail investors who are eligible to invest in government securities under the Foreign Exchange Management Act are also eligible under the scheme to invest in government securities directly or indirectly. There are four kinds of government securities that you can invest in through the RBI Retail Direct platform. So the very first one is Treasury Bill. So Treasury Bills or T-Bills are a short-term debt instruments issued by the government of India. Through this, the government borrows for a short period of time that usually ranges between 91 days to 364 days. The second one is Government of India Dated Securities that is also known as Dated GSEC or Government Bonds. So in these, the, these are the government bonds that are long-term debt instruments issued by the Government of India. Through this, the Indian government borrows for one year or more period of time. The third one or the next type of government securities is the State Development Loans. So SDLs are also the long-term debt instruments, but they are issued by various state governments in India. Simply put, through SDLs, the state governments borrow for one year period or more. State governments do not issue T-bills, so they issue bonds that mature after at least one year period of time. And the last one is sovereign gold bonds. So sovereign gold bonds are government securities which is denominated in the grams of gold. They are substitute of holding physical gold. So you can invest in these four kinds of government securities directly through the primary market as well as the secondary market. Now, when you're investing via a primary market, it basically means that you're buying government securities through primary auction when the central government or any state government is freshly issuing or reissuing their securities. While on the other hand, investing in the secondary market basically means that you're buying and selling government securities from other investors. So it is very much similar to trading stocks in the stock market exchange. Now that you know what government securities mean and what are different types of bonds that you can invest in through the RBI Retail Direct platform, now we'll understand how does the government bonds actually work. So when you buy a particular government bond, you lend the government on an agreed amount of money for an agreed period of time. In return, the government will pay you back a set level of interest at a regular period known as coupon. So this basically makes bonds a fixed income asset. So once the bond expires, you will get back your original investment. 
the day on which you get your original investment back is called as maturity date. Now, let me tell you that there are different bonds that you can buy at a different that comes with different maturity dates. So you can buy a bond that matures uh, in less than a year or you could also buy a bond that matures after 30 years or so. So let's take for an example, let's say you have invested uh, rupees 10,000 into a 10 year government bond with a 5% annual coupon. Now each year the government would pay you 5% of your rupees 10,000 as interest and at the maturity date they would give you back your original rupees 10,000. So in India short term government security bonds come with a maturity of less than a year that are referred to as T bills or treasury bills. So treasury bills are available with a maturity period of 91 days, 182 days and 364 days. Government security bonds with a maturity period that is of one year or more than that are long term securities which are commonly referred to as government bonds. So the Indian government issues both T bills which is treasury bills as well as the government bonds. While on the other hand, Indian state governments issues only bonds that are called as the state development loans. Even though government bonds have been made available to retail investors, allocating money without considering the pros and cons can be counterproductive. Government bonds carry low risk when compared to other assets like your equities as the returns are guaranteed by the government. With that said, with this one advantage, let's also look at what are the other advantages that you get by investing in government securities. Now, when looking from the investor's perspective, government securities are one of the most secure forms of investment instruments, which comes with minimal risk. Now, with this said, in this module, let's dive deep into understanding what are the advantages you get by investing in government securities. So the very first one is risk free. Government bonds promise you the assured returns and stability of funds to the investors. They have always been an example of risk-free security. Thus, any investors who is looking for risk-free investment, government bonds are one of the suitable options for them. The next one is returns. Now, the returns from government bonds you get are generally as good as the bank deposits, such as your fixed deposits, your public provident fund, your lips, post office monthly income scheme etc wherein you are assured of the principal amount as well as the fixed interest. However, unlike the bank deposits, these bonds are available for a longer duration of time. The next benefit you get is liquidity. Now one can buy and sell government bonds like equity instruments. The liquidity in these bonds is as adequate as banks and the financial institutions. The next benefit includes in the list is portfolio diversification. Investment in government bonds makes as a well diversified portfolio for the investor. It mitigates the risk of the overall portfolio since the government bonds are risk free investments. So now let's understand what are the disadvantages of government bonds. So the first one is low returns. The yield or the interest that you earn on the government bonds is relatively lower when compared to say other investment options like equity, your real estate, corporate bonds, etc. The next one in the list is interest rate risk. Now here the government bonds are, remind you it is a long term investment bonds that where the maturity period usually ranges from 5 years to 40 years. Hence, it is more likely that the bond might lose its value over this period. Moreover, if the inflation rises, the interest rate might look quite less attractive. Also remember that the higher the bond period, the market risk also increases along with the interest rate risk. Furthermore, the investor remains with an investment which is paying below the market value. So this is just a gist of RBI's Retail Direct Scheme. To know more about RBI's Retail Direct Scheme, which we have exclusive developed and course which is available on our financial freedom app wherein we give you in-depth knowledge on how you one can open the rbi retail direct guilt account the entire process of bidding in primary as well as secondary markets will also tell you whether it is safe for you to invest in government securities and how the retail direct guilt account actually works what are the limitations etc so we'll give you an in-depth knowledge of rbi retail direct scheme so hurry up and download the Financial Freedom app that is available on Play Store or App Store. Also before going, do not forget to hit on the like button, subscribe to the channel and do not forget to hit on the bell icon to get notified for our next video. Thank you for watching IndianMoney.com. Get wise, break free.